So when I first started playing, I never hopped into training. When I did, it was just to screw around really fast, but I was more interested in playing ranked. Then when I wanted to protect my rank and practice something, I'd just play casual games and try to focus on the one thing I wanted to improve. This isn't a bad way to go about things in the beginning. Nothing's better than the real thing. But there will be a time when you need to get better at some parts of the game that you only get a chance to do a handful of times per game. For the rest of the 5 minutes of play, you're doing other things and will never get a chance to focus on something you want to get better at unless it's really general, like clears or goalie skills. I'm going to make some more focus videos in the future, but for now I wanted to put a basic training roadmap out there that will help low to mid level players. You need to develop a routine. How much do you want to get better at the game and how fast? Are you willing to put in a few minutes before you start each session? Or are you willing to separate session play and practice and put in a separate hour a day working strictly on mechanics? What's cool about Rocket League is that you'll still gain muscle memory if you have a ton of homework or a basketball team sized family that you have to take care of and you can't put in a ton of practice. It will just take a little bit longer. And that's okay, but if you develop a routine and you prioritize some practice over playtime, you'll get better faster. I promise. The trick is to have just as much fun practicing as playing ranked. It took a while for me to get in the swing of things, but eventually that 15 minutes of practice time a day before I started my sessions became really fun. In practice, you're challenging yourself to accomplish things, so you may not be scoring goals, but you're still being rewarded for your success. If you can find the fun in that, then you'll find yourself outpacing other players, even if you only have a little bit of time to dedicate to training. To start, try 10 minutes of free time and then go through one session of Rocket League training. Or for more of the important mechanics, try to dedicate a half hour to something like flying. If you play a little bit nightly, try to dedicate one whole night to training with just a few games at the end to apply what you may have just learned. When it comes to free play, either low level players love it or hate it. The haters can't see the point and they get impatient and want to score goals on people so they skip free play and hop into online games. By the time you become a mid-level player, you've probably found something that you know you're not good at and you practice it in free play. As a low to mid-level player, you need to be optimizing your time in free play. If you're new to the game and want somewhere to start, just hop in and hit the ball around. It sounds simple, but just hopping into free play will optimize your time to touch ratio. The goal is lots of hits in a little amount of time. That's what you need when you start. Once you're past that, you should be picking something to work on and focusing on it. What are you doing the most at your level of play? Do you find yourself in breakaway scenarios with no defenders, but your anxiety cripples you and you miss? Awesome, work on that. Gain possession of the ball and dribble it with small hits towards the opponent's goal. Start at a guaranteed pace. What I mean by that is start at a speed where you won't screw up. For some, this will need to be really slow. Increase your speed until you can guide the ball into the goal at full speed. Eventually, you'll be doing some more sophisticated dribbling, but that will be farther down the road. For now, the drill is to put the ball into the goal as fast as you can. Are you constantly centering the ball? Awesome, work on that. Try and get the ball rolling to the corner in a typical direction the ball heads during normal play. A front flip into the ball will normally keep the ball on the ground. Once it's heading up the wall, try and hit it at an angle that will send the ball arching up higher than the goal and falling down past the crossbar into the center of the goal. The most effective way to get the ball into the right spot without hitting the ceiling is to hit the ball while boosting just after it reaches the vertical part of the wall. You're going to want to play with a ton of angles on this shot because life is uncertain and you'll never have a perfect setup for any shot when playing. There's an underlying value to hopping into free play. You're passively learning micro skills you didn't even know you needed to learn, like those tiny touches to guide the ball a bit, or car mechanics such as turning radiuses when boosting and when you're just driving. Or without even trying, you'll learn how the ball pops up when you hit it head on at different speeds. These are things that need to be done 10,000 times before you get a good feel for them. Free play will get you there faster. The final part of this segment will focus on approaching the goalie, striker, and aerial training. If you're starting out, you'll want to hop into the rookie section of each to get a feel for how Psyonix expects you to train. Beyond that, you'll still want to try to focus on a few things in each section. Here are my tips for getting the most out of using their training. For goalie and aerial training, you should immediately get into the habit of hitting the jump and boost at the same time. Combine the two buttons by covering both of them with your thumb each time you jump. There are more effective ways to jump that you'll learn later, but for now, just make sure you're combining both the jump and boost so you aren't wasting any time getting up in the air. My other advice is to try different types of touches for each training section. 
What happens when you front flip into the ball? What happens if you just touch the ball with your nose? What happens when you hit an aerial with your wheels instead of your nose? You'll want to understand the difference between all of the touches. This is less about learning how to get accurate with them and more about knowing what to expect so you can avoid hitting dangerous shots like centering the ball for the other team. After that, I suggest you just hop into them and grind through the 10 stages. Some of you might be able to get through all 10 in just a few tries, but eventually you're going to hit a wall where you couldn't pass a stage or you needed a lucky goal in order to pass. That's perfectly fine, just make sure you grind it out. Again, muscle memory is key here and the grind will help you with that. So that's all I have for discussing the general idea of training. Hopefully you'll start to add more training time to your gameplay and eventually you'll feel comfortable splitting your time evenly between training, unranked, and ranked play. Find a way to make it fun and it will be less of a grind. Put on some music or make a mini game out of free play, but just know that with the proper mindset, training will be just as fun as ranked play. Cheers guys.